Hey, what's up, fellas? This video, we're gonna be taking a look at a new bypass valve configuration that I've been working with. This one's a little bit more user-friendly and is 100% foolproof. Okay, fellas, so step one in using this system is we have to prime the pump. So we're gonna open the fuel valve on our fuel tank. We're gonna open the prime valve, and then we're just gonna turn on the pump power knob. You can see fuel is flowing quite rapidly. And when we stop seeing a lot of bubbles. Okay, now that the system is primed, we close the prime valves. We've got two valves on this rig so that we're not losing the prime fluid all over the place when we're done priming. Now that the system is primed, all we do to operate it is open this valve and run the TRIAC power controller. So let's get this nozzle set up. I'm gonna take a look at what we're seeing here. Okay, we have our spray nozzle in place. We're now simply going to open this valve and stop fuel from leaking when the system isn't running. And we're gonna turn on the power. Get the air out of there. And if somebody accidentally turns the valve off. Nothing happens. There's a lot of fuel. So can we dial it into 200? That's about where we're going to want to light the machine at, I feel. That's quite a bit of fuel there. 250. And that's your standard running position. How low can we go? Let's say we want to light it at 150. like that much. It's still spraying in there. We never want to run it under 175 unless we make adjustments to the pilot system. This valve here would allow that. It is really wild up in the fuel. So, this is where we are, kind of liking what I see. Now I've had this machine running up to 500 PSI before. It was running an autoclave boiler. And the other nozzle, that one's a little small though. I think I'd trust it. All right, Justin. So here's your new bypass valve assembly. This is all high pressure hydraulic lines. 
This is the only valve you'll ever touch. You'll just turn that on and off. You can turn it on and off when the pump's running and it won't affect you. This valve here I have preset for you. We have a spring-loaded valve in here for easy priming. This right here is your priming valve. It'll only be open during the priming process. And I put a valve on the end of this for you that you would keep closed when you were done priming so that you don't have like this tube of fuel flowing out onto the ground. Or this is the discharge that you connect to the discharge of the pump. And that is your intake side. This is where your fuel input will go. And this goes to the burner nozzle side. You'll probably um, want to connect this first and then this because I don't have a swivel on here. And you'll have to rotate this whole assembly to get it on there. So I'm going to get this in a box and hopefully at your place before Monday.